This video will cover how to graph logarithmic functions using a TI-83 calculator. So I'm going to be doing this on my TI-84 calculator. Actually, let me see if I can change. Yeah, I can't change it. I'll be doing this on my TI-84, but I'm going to show you what you need to do to do this on a TI-83. The biggest difference between the 84 and the 83 is the 83 does not have the log base function. So how do you know if your calculator is good or not? Well, if your calculator can do log base, try pressing alpha window. If something pops up like this and you see log base, your calculator has the log base feature. If you do that key press on a TI-83, nothing happens, nothing pops up. So how do we graph this without log base? If we can't enter log base two, we have to use change of base. Change of base is like if you have log base two of four, you can do that in your calculator by doing the log of four divided by the log of two. We're going to use that same concept with this equation. So what we're actually going to enter into the calculator is log of x plus three divided by log of two and then minus four. So in a TI-83, you have to figure out how to enter that into your calculator. You still go to Y equals, still check to make sure your plots are turned off. But we want to do log button X plus 3, close your parentheses, divided by log button 2, close your parentheses. That is this fraction, log of X plus 3 divided by log of 2. After that, you put minus 4, and it will graph the function exactly the same as, as this statement in a TI-84. Go into your table, second graph to go into your table, and record a couple points that would be fairly easy to graph. Um, you, there's not always pretty points to graph. Sometimes we do have to graph decimals. And sometimes I'll go down here and just pick another number. Like, I guess we can do 5, negative 1. But you could also pick something like um, 8, negative 0.5 if you wanted just another point. Okay, my y-axis is here in the middle. My x-axis is here in the middle. The stuff in the parentheses still tells you what the asymptote is. That tells you that this graph shifted left 3, and you can see that on your graph as well. So our asymptote is x equals negative 3. The domain is tied to the asymptote. Notice the graph is on the right side of that asymptote, so our domain is x is greater than negative 3. And the domain is always all real numbers. So then we would plot this. Um, I want to make sure to draw in the asymptote. It's a good idea to draw in your asymptote using a dashed line just so you see where it is. That way when you draw your graph in, you don't cross your asymptote. Negative 2, negative 4, negative 1, negative 3, 1, negative 2, and 5, negative 1. On the left side, remember you're approaching the asymptote, but you are not crossing it, and you are Try not to touch it, but you, your pen might end up touching it, but just make sure you don't cross the asymptote. 